A lot of people call me a lot of different things. Arrogant, stuck up, bratty, bitchy, whiny. I could go on and on for days. But the one thing that you can't call me is a loser because I've owned 2020. I have owned this Wildcats division and I have owned the Wildcats championship. And why? Because that's exactly who I was born to be. Ever since the doctors in that emergency room looked my parents right in their eye and told them that I would never walk again, I told myself that I would never see that look in their eyes again. That look of despair. That look of disappointment. That look of regret. I told myself that if there was a chance, even if it was a 1% chance, of walking out of that hospital bed, I would do anything to do it. And that's exactly what I did. Those doctors, they didn't know what was going on inside my head. They didn't know the emotional toll I was taking on myself just to keep pushing through each and every second of pain that shot through my body whenever I tried to lift my leg up off the ground just to even try and take one step forward. None of you can imagine the amount of joy that I saw on my parents' faces when they saw that even for a moment, I had a slim chance of being a normal human being again. Then again, I'm not that normal, am I? I might as well be a cyborg with all the plates and screws in my legs. But that doesn't matter to any of you anymore, right? You already think that this story is one big lie, don't you? I can hear you all now, thinking that I'm trying to gain sympathy by telling you a fake story. But that's all you do now. You look at me and assume that I'm a fake, that I'm no one, that I'm nobody. But that's the norm now, right? Once something bad happens in someone's life, they have to blame management, or blame their friends, or blame their company, or blame anyone else other than themselves. But the difference between me and all of you is that I know I'm a bitch. I know that I've turned my back on everyone that ever said that they cared about me. And you know what? I've accepted that. But none of you have the guts to look me in the mirror and admit that you're the problem and keep working to solve it, do you? None of you wake up every morning and realize that maybe the reason you're in the situations that you find yourself in, wondering why people always look at you differently than they used to, wondering why your friends are suddenly not acting like your friends anymore, wondering why you lie awake at night and ask yourself why you're going down a hole that you can't crawl out of. Maybe if you stop and remind yourself that you are the reason you are in that situation and try to fix it, maybe you wouldn't be in the depressed, woe is me, no one cares about me lifestyle that you're living. Like I said before, I know what I've done. I know there are bridges that I've burned that I'll never be able to fix. I know I've done and said horrible and inexcusable things. And most of all, I know that through all of that, in spite of what you think of me, I'm still your Wildcats champion. And it doesn't matter who you send at me or what you decide to say about me. I'm going to keep hobbling my ass forward as long as it takes until you and everyone else gets the message. I don't need a tweet about how depressed I am. I don't need to tell you how lost I am. I just need to show you how great I am. And if you really think about it, I am the best because I am the longest reigning Wildcats champion in the last three years. I am the dream killer. I am your DCA Wildcats champion. I am Destiny Williams. And no one is going to take my dreams away from me again. Never again.